Newport Central Catholic is playing right now for its sixth state football championship. Tomorrow night, Highlands will play for its 23rd state title. And Dixie Heights will make its first trip to the championship game after reeling off 13 straight wins this year. And as Joe Webb tells us, this Dixie team has been tested in a lot of ways, both on and off the field. Pep rallies are pep rallies, but when the guys you grew up with and go to school with are playing for the state championship, it's not just another rally. It's amazing, honestly. We've got so many people supporting us, and I just hope we come out and bring home a state championship. Dixie Heights has fielded a football team since it opened its doors in the 1930s, but has never won a state football title. They've never played in the championship game. Tomorrow night is the first. The past few years we haven't expected ourselves to make it this far and this year we just set our goals and we've been able to accomplish them so far and hopefully we can get it done tomorrow. They opened this season with a loss to rival Covington Catholic and have not lost since. The seniors on this Dixie Heights team have gone from 3 and 8 as sophomores to 13 and 1 this season. So this will be me right here for my snarky Christmas expression there. Head coach Dave Brosser may not get much respect on the door decorations at Dixie, but he has a unique bond with his football team. Brossert's wife died of cancer during the 2013 season. Football became a relief. The team, an extended family. These kids were there for me and at my house and at my wife's funeral. I mean, it, it's been a very special three years. It's been great. And they got to see a lot of real life around this place, not just football. And this year, the football has been good enough to get them to the final game. If they win Saturday, they will be state champions. But win or lose, the coach says this is a group of young men who are already proven winners. In Edgewood, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. <laughs> that was awesome. Good luck to them. And by the way, both of Joe Webb's children graduated from Dixie Heights, so I think it's safe to say that Joe will be rooting for the Colonels. Dixie will play Louisville Trinity tomorrow night at 7 o'clock our time in Bowling Green. Trinity is tied with Highlands uh, with those 22 state football championships.